Good morning. This is Immortal Technique, and this is Technique Tuesday's Morning Edition. A lot of you have hit me up asking me to make a video about the coronavirus, um, so I'm going to share some of my thoughts with you here. Uh, first and foremost, I just want to let everyone know that I've always been a fan of independent media. I love that there are people who give a voice to stories that others would rather bury, um, who give the nuance and the details to things that we miss in some of the major stories. But the downside to everyone uh, being able to report the news is that you have a lot of people with an agenda, you have kooks, and you have people who report things irresponsibly and then decide to give them a, a, a kind of a caricature of the news. Um, so there is a lot of disinformation out there. So I just wanted to cover a few things that are plain sight that everyone should know and understand. Um, no, it, it's not a hoax. Sure, there are things, uh, still, a lot of things uh, that could kill you at a higher rate. That doesn't mean that there's absolutely no fear for it. There are people that are more at risk, older and younger people. There's also uh, an extreme amount of panic being sold by the mainstream media. Panic uh, equals the ability to take people's rights away. Um, both of these things are important to acknowledge and understand, but there are some other things that we should know too. Um, first and foremost, uh, most people have actually had the coronavirus in some way, shape, or form. It's responsible for one-third of the common colds in the United States. But this isn't that coronavirus. This is a mutation. Um, the United States government says it comes out of a Wuhan lab. China and now some scientists from Taiwan and Japan who have really no allegiance to China are saying that it's a U.S. military project that got out of hand. We don't know. What we do know is that seniors and, and young people are at risk. So when I tell people that, yeah, I, I'm, I'm a person who loves to debate and argue and talk with my friends, and then, you know, with you guys, I always share my thoughts and my ideas, and I'm open to discussion as long as people hit me up and DM me respectfully instead of crazily. And <laughs> but I'm going to tell you what I can do. What I can do is make sure that I'm healthy and provide help for those people in my neighborhood, the elderly people in Harlem, uh, my parents, and other friends' parents who, who might be in the need. So we're gonna be setting that up in the next few days. Um, I have full gear, everything, masks, gloves, hazmat, whatever. Um, so I'm willing to go to people's houses, um, being that I'm totally protected and they would be protected from anything, um, and have some kind of cleaning protocol to get older people the things that they can. Um, I went to the supermarket with my parents, and it was a madhouse. And I had to tell them to leave, and I, I went and got the stuff. And I think that's something. It's not that I'm not concerned about the coronavirus. Please, don't. don't I don't take anything lightly in life. I, I don't take a coward lightly in life, because that's the person most likely to shoot you, stab you, a coward. You know, because they can't deal with you in person. They can't handle what you have to say. But the thing that I don't take lightly at all is the amount of panic and fear that has been spread among people. The fear can be used to justify a lot of things, horrible things. Um, whether this is the beginning of draconian measures, I think that's nearsighted. There have always been draconian measures. There are people who live in a ghetto, and I get it, some people will roll their eyes at this, but it's true, it's just you've never experienced it. And they've lived under practical martial law too. You know, I remember, you know, when I grew up as a kid, the cops would come by the projects like eight o'clock and just tell us to get the fuck out of there. And I'm, why don't we have the freedom to do? I remember one of my friends was dumb enough to tell the cop that to try to, or brave enough, whichever one you want to say. But they just smacked the shit out of him, and there was no news coverage. He, he wasn't a champion of free speech. You know. I'm telling people to be careful. I'm not telling people to be quiet. I'm not telling people to hold your tongue. I'm telling people to be careful. Careful with what you do. Do not endanger yourself or your family out here uh, uh, trying to cap for something that you don't even know if it's true or not. What I will say is this. The most important thing about people who spread panic and fear is that they conveniently always have a solution for that. And their solution seems to benefit themselves more than anybody else. Um, I think that where we go into the policy of 
border control and how this is all be played up and how it'll be used in the election because people will say, look, the, Me the virus didn't come from Mexico, right? And if you want to have an actual conversation about that, Europeans who came here in 1492 had already been through the Crusades. They had been through the Black Plague. They understood what disease was. So you want to have a conversation about the moral turpitude of something. We can say that this society was founded on people who understood they were genociding other people. It wasn't an accident. You want to have that private conversation with me, please hit me up. But in regards to this, it's important that you take care of the people. It's a great time to philosophize and talk about all this shit wonderful but we also have to be people of action you know and when i say action i don't mean self-glorification you know i'm wonderful that you want to be outside running around great but be running outside there with a purpose you know to help people who can't get to the store who can't do certain things people who are disabled and especially the elderly or people who have young children it's important to keep those people in mind because they're frightened and because they don't know exactly what's going on I do appreciate everybody who reached out about me and my family. Everybody's safe. Everybody's good for now. And I'm going to keep you guys updated. And I'm going to keep doing what I've always done, which is try to help the people who uh, don't have the political representation uh, that others do. And so they fall between the cracks. I always told people that if you want to really develop an authoritarian system, you have to test it on the people who have the least amount of political representation. And you get an, a gauge of what the public is willing to accept versus what they'll openly oppose. I want you guys to be safe out there, but I also want you to be prepared. Um, I'm not saying that you should hoard food, but you should definitely be supplied to the fact that you are able to maintain yourself whether it comes to a quarantine or whether it comes to this. Um, there are a lot of cooking channels on YouTube. You know, as a guy who grew up with his mom, like making incredible food, I've always known how to cook, but I was never a chef. But when I wanted to improve my cooking skills, there are YouTube tutorials about everything from, you know, anything that you have in your house, even the stuff that you think is, oh man, I've never eaten this. Try it and be good to yourselves and be safe. And let me know what's going on where you're from. Leave me a comment and tell me what's happening in your neighborhood. And I'm gonna try and network with the people from Harlem and the Bronx to try and bring food to those individuals who don't have the capacity to go out. That's all we can do is take care of each other right now, right? They are geniuses who say they have this whole thing figured out. <laughs> you know, I think that there's a difference between being intelligent and thinking you're smart. And intelligence means that you base knowledge off what you know. And right now, people know very little. Uh, they think they know a lot, but they actually know very little about what's going on and what the real agenda is. So as it reveals itself, I remind people, please make sure that the people who are most vulnerable, who are most fucked up, are taken care of. Love y'all. Moral technique, rubble arms, peace.